Hello, welcome to CSOFT Support. My name is Orun Talukdar. I am a support staff at CSOFT. I will be discussing PDF support in voice image. I have got few PDF files with me. So these are the PDF files. I have got three different type of PDFs. Uh, PDFs, we can classify PDFs in terms of colors, in terms of uh, source of the PDF. So anyway, I have three different PDFs. This is one. And uh, if I open the PDF, you can see the, comp the, the, the PDF quality. And uh, you can understand this PDF was scanned in a grayscale mode. And this was generated from scanner. So if I can zoom further, so you will have a uh, better idea about the PDF quality. So this is uh, one PDF. You can consider this PDF as a raster PDF because this was generated from scanner. And uh, moving down to this PDF, this is uh, you can consider this PDF as a vector PDF because this PDF was generated from NanoCAD, or maybe you can use AutoCAD to generate such PDF. So if you have a DWG and you want to send the the drawing to somewhere so you generally make PDF so this is uh, kind of same and you can consider this type of PDF as vector PDF and I have one more PDF this PDF was uh, uh, raster PDF basically this was generated from scanner but on that PDF uh, we put some additional remarks using pen so we we, we uh, took the printouts of that particular PDF and uh, where we wrote something using pen and again we scan we open the PDF in sometimes we open this kind of PDFs into a PDF editor and try to uh, annotate try to give some instructions for the users so this is one PDF that may have come from some PDF editing applications. So I have different type of PDFs, different, those PDFs are came from different source. So on that basis, we can say I have three different types of PDF. So let's go down to voice image now. So this is uh, voice image and uh, let me tell you about voice image PDF engines because uh, the PDF engines we have in voice image are different types of PDF engines actually deployed uh, you know to help users so basically in uh, voice image there are uh, if you get just go to open so you can find the PDF this one so basically you can open PDF and uh, if you go to import you will have the same functions almost uh, pdf you can import pdf and you can insert pdf so these are also one option so you can insert pdf and uh, all the pdf properties are controlled by voice image uh, menu tools then preferences and there will be PDF properties. You should double click on that to set your desired DPI to import a PDF. So basically there are different PDF engine uh, in voice image and a user, sh I mean a user should know what engine sh they will use for a specific type of PDF. So let's go and uh, try to open some PDF. So I have this PDF or maybe I can go sh for this at the beginning. So if I uh, try to open the PDF, the PDF uh, will open as it is. I mean, as the PDF were scanned or came from other PDF editing application. So the PDF will open as it is. Quality will be same. But if you import the PDF, instead of uh, opening if you import the PDF you may 
lose the quality of the PDF because you never know the DPI set in the voice image preference. So all the PDF will be imported in voice image are getting controlled by these options. So if I make the DPI up to 300, so now the same PDF should open and uh, will be more visible. The quality will be more accurate. So this is one option that, that you can actually open or import. So one PDF can be open or can be import the same PDF file. But if you have PDF like this, so sometime you will receive kind of PDF which will uh, not open from the open functions of voice image that will give you some uh, error it will describe why this PDF is not opening so basically this is uh, because the source of the PDF uh, from where the PDF came and the parameter they had used so based on that it will give you error the PDF will not open so you should go to import on those cases and try to open try to import the PDF instead of opening and the DPI will be same because I set it to 300 and from now onwards it will be set it will set as 300 so unless until you change that value it will be 300 so now I open the PDF uh, uh, I beg your pardon I, I just input the PDF so I can see the quality of the PDF is quite original now so it's always wise to go for import not to open so some PDF uh, will uh, open from the open functions some will not s but from import if you go from import all the PDF will import and uh, the quality the DPI of the PDF can be controlled from voice image preferences now uh, going further down it's if if you try to open this PDF in voice image there's a chance voice image may crash because you are using something different PDF engines in voice image and trying to open some different type of PDFs so on this case voice image may crash if I try to open this so it will not open basically it will not open the same PDF uh, as I said the source of that PDF was uh, CAD so if you go to import and take the same vector PDF and try to import it will be imported so now you can import but it will be like this so this is just like an image you imported the PDF and you, you can only delete and remove some portions but you will not have uh, separate entities text or lines or other objects as we generally handle in DWG so for this type of drawing you should not open because it will not open and uh, if you import you will not be able to update so for this type of PDF vector PDF voice image has a strong PDF engine that will convert the whole vector PDF into a vector drawing so from there you can save that vector PDF entities into DWG let's let's give a try go to import and uh, choose PDF and choose the PDF once you click and paste it the engine will convert the rust vector PDF 
into vector drawing. So this is converted as a drawing now. So now if you go to file and then export, you can save uh, the converted result into DWG and then you can open into AutoCAD or NanoCAD or some other CAD applications. So this is uh, three different type of PDF engines we have. You can open PDF, you can import PDF, you can import PDF and the, the properties, the imported PDF properties will be handled from this options in the preferences or if you have a vector PDF and uh, you want to convert that vector PDF into a vector drawing that's DWG that you can do from insert and PDF. I hope this will help and uh, if, if you are dealing with PDF and uh, you are using wise image I'm sure this will be a great help for you so you can give a try if you have any problem using uh, wise image with PDF please uh, contact support or comments below we will try to help you on that thank you thank you very much uh, for your time see you bye bye thank you